the review space station versus g2 rlcs week one went to five games spoilers and let's get it going here no we don't want play review sorry jnfs we don't like you that much all right <clears throat> let's get into it and obviously in the series space station took an early lead and g2 found a way to come back so we'll see what exactly happened throughout the series Rizzo wins that challenge, but not too much going on here. It's mostly about just trying to keep the ball deep, but typical make some good touches there to get it out, and another good touch there to win that 50. That's all typical the entire way down the field. Well done by him. So right here, he's also almost getting bumped too by uh, uh, Chicago over there. But Rizzo just throws it off the wall. Not expecting too much, and then Rizzo's going for, uh, for demos. That's generally what he does. He'll throw it near the backboards. And then look to be a nuisance in the net. But typical just clears us out easily. I wonder where JDEPS was during this play. So I feel like he should have been around. But he's like super far back. So JDEPS, I think, just had no boost for a really long time. So he had to go all the way back for boost. So yeah, he's just not available on that play. So he gets beat. Now he's got to cycle out. But typical just tapping the brakes there to get that win mid. And no one's expecting that, and goes perfectly mid, so well done by Sipical. That's all of him. <clears throat> Sathy, good pass out to Sipical here. But nothing really going to come of that, because there's just not a lot of boost left in the tanks here. And AXP is too far forward for them to do much. JNFs with the clear. So, JNAPS, uh, this is a good, like, fake. I'm going to go for the ball here. He, like, he doesn't care about the ball there. All he wants is their boost. And forces Sathew into that weak touch. But Chicago does absolutely nothing with this ball. That's actually a really poor play by Chicago. I think he has no boost, but just that first touch was really poor. And now it's just, we're going to fight in the corner for an hour and a half. Good pass out there by Rizzo, but that's probably not going to amount to much. So what Sathew can do. Good challenge there. So, some good 50-50s right now. And the uh, the problem here was just like G2 put all their eggs in that basket of trying to, uh, for that weird goal that's just in the corner where nothing really is going to happen. And it kind of makes them all have to retreat at the same time. It forces a really good scoring chance here by Space Station. Oh, did I put? Yeah, I did put Space Station. Okay. So it turns into a good scoring chance, but JNFs makes the save. Typical. Tries for a little dribble play. Doesn't necessarily work, but it does confuse Rizzo just enough. And Rizzo's actually moving up the field maybe a little too much here. So JNAP's, like clears that ball. And where is Chicago going? That's what I want to know. He's he's moving up field. He should not be. But that also puts Rizzo in a bad spot. And Rizzo also moving up field. Like, they were trying for a full-on counterattack that just did not pan out. So Rizzo gets an awkward touch because of it. it goes to AXB, and they keep possession here. Uh, Sathu just backs away on that. Smart play. Good challenges there. Beautiful challenges there by Sathu. And typical has a clean shot here. And guess what? It's Space Station Gaming, baby. So they're not scoring that. <laughs> AXP, don't worry. I can do it too. Um, we're not scoring this either. Sathu's like, hold on. I'll help out too. Never mind. He didn't have an angle. So that's just one thing with Space Station. I feel like they just missed some, e some easy shots that they could score to seal the deal. Be up two early would, would be really nice, but... Sathu should never have touched this ball. <clears throat> oh, this ball's AXB. He's got to call him off. I think they have to assume that Rizzo's not there based on position, but I think he was a little worried that Rizzo might be there. Rizzo with a good pass to JNAPS, but JNAPS has to rush this because he expects that AXB is going to come challenge as well. So he just throws it off the wall, tries to center it, but no one's really available because they kind of used up everything. So that's the problem that G2 has on these offensive pushes is we see Chicago here. What's up, Jay Giles? Dang, I didn't realize how loud <clears throat> G2 is. So we see Chicago. He's out of the play at this point. He could maybe half rotate out, but it's really, really dangerous. But by this point, he's not even at the boost yet. So JNAPS throws this ball off the wall. The only other play is if Rizzo can somehow be a nuisance and hit this ball back to Chicago for a shot. So that's the only other option. But typical beats out Rizzo to that ball. But Chicago's leaving anyway, so that was a good read by him. He could have stayed and hoped for that Rizzo pass, and then it would have been real trouble there. <clears throat> but he goes back instead, so good position there by Chicago. Typical versus JNAPS, not much going on. Chicago just throws it deep. 
They could have maybe countered here a little bit. Eh, maybe not, because Rizzo seems like he's just collecting boost. And he goes behind the ball here. They could have settled this down and went for a dribble. So they could have let Rizzo have it and let Chicago move up for the pass. But instead, they opt to just clear it out. And Sathy makes a pretty decent clear back. Actually, really good, because it goes over both Chicago and Rizzo. So j has to come out, and Sathy can meet him at that ball. So hold on there. My nose is being annoying. Chicago off the top. That's a super dangerous play here. So Rizzo is just trying to be a nuisance off field, which it seems like that's a lot of his role now it is. Uh, but this pass is just poor. Uh, Chicago wants to throw this towards the net, like, because we see... We see typical moving forward, uh, but he just gets a bad piece, and JNaps is kind of forced into that challenge. I don't necessarily blame JNaps here because, like, there's not much else he can do. So we see this play from. Let's go on this point of view here. Let's go back. Yeah, like this is just a bad touch by Chicago. So JNaps is moving forward, expecting Chicago to win this ball forward, and then at that point you have to die for this. There's nothing else you can do because if he turns around, it's a wide open net anyway. So you have to die for it. Not much you can do. So just poor touch there by Chicago. And the XP gets the goal. Well done. Rizzo just throwing it deep. All G2 just waiting. But really poor touch here again by Chicago. He's got plenty of time here. He's looking for the pass to JNAP. Just, just like basically a miss hit here. Just throws it out to typical. Just throws it too far forward. But typical, also a poor touch. So it works out. It eventually goes to JNAPS. And that's the thing. Like, that's the threat of G2, I feel like, where teams are going to rush to intercept those passes because they know they're coming and they know that G2 is good at it. So typical probably rushed up a little bit too much there. Let's go back to this air dribble by XB. He gets around JNAPS and he keeps control, which is always good. He forces Rizzo up. He gets the pass out. But Rizzo does get the challenge. But typical, relatively weak shot. And where is Sathu going on this ball? Sathu should be staying midfield on this play. Because AXB is right there. He could have uh, uh, like set up Sathu really well here for a shot. So that's just a bad play by Sathu. And AXB doesn't get a good hit anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But bad position there by Sathu. Sathu, good challenge there in the air. Almost pushes it in. Got to be a little bit careful here from AXB. But good Clear to the side. Just wide open space for typical here. So that's a well-placed ball. And Sathu, good read here on the defensive side. Can he get it mid? He can. He Oh, he actually gets a shot. So well done by Sathu there. Well done by Space Station for like the past, I don't know, 45 seconds there. They were just beating G2, Doug. Everything. So well done. Rizzo, a little bit of poor aerial. He didn't realize the ball was coming back that far on him. So actually we can win that 50 pretty easily. See if Sipical can tap this out. Nice play by XP to come help support that. And gets the pass out. So again, Space Station just beating G2 to the ball on all these plays. Except for that one. Chicago with the big dunk. Ooh, that's a really, really, really bad touch by Rizzo here. He's got time and everything. And he just kind of whiffs on this one. That's a, that's a hard whiff. Trying to do possession for Space Station. I'll go back inside. Sorry about that. Got the grid view. Sathu gets a quality shot attempt. He's trying to rush it a bit. He, he jumps early. He's expecting JNAPS to come out for this, but he just never does. So, I get why it's high, but it could have been a more quality of a shot. Which, again, that's Space Station. Ooh, JNAPS and Rizzo bump here. So, Rizzo again. like So, G2 sends everyone forward a lot. And they have to be really careful about plays like this. Uh, but this is kind of a poor touch by Chicago. But it's more of like a really good challenge by AXB. Because immediately like after that first touch, we see uh, AXB challenge and forces that 50 out. And I get why G2's moving forward. They're down three. So, you know, why not? But they off the back up. And then Rizzo just gets bumped by JNAPS here. So Rizzo backs up and then is like, oh, I can actually challenge this ball. But unfortunately, JNAPS hits him. Sathu also thinks that Rizzo is going to make that challenge, so he doesn't actually get a good hit. So, just a bit of a clown fiesta there. AXB off the ceiling. Gets around two. So, this play right here, like, JNAPS is in the air first. 
Actually, they're both in there about the same time, so this just forces out a double commit, but that's just solid play by XP and also just a bit of a miscommunication by G2. But on defense, generally, if you think you're going to be there first, you're going to go for it, and both of them thought it was their ball. Like, I can see JNAP's kind of sitting back a little bit more on that play and letting Rizzo go, but maybe he didn't realize that Rizzo had the boost. I'm not sure. But again, Space Station dominating this game. Good challenge by Rizzo to the corner and gets the boost and gets the pass. Ooh, just a little bit of a poor pass. But they keep possession. And now that... Ooh, Rizzo actually moves up for this, which makes sense. You're down three. Well done by Rizzo to just be like, it doesn't matter because if AXP hits this, it's game over anyway. So, moves up, makes the play. Well done. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, uh, Sathy relatively slow to that ball and well done by JNAPS to just use his speed to get it back to Chicago. But Rizzo kind of disguised this. He's got to... Try and throw this on net, because that's, like, their only chance to win. But it doesn't happen. Like, or, like, go up for the double tap, but he didn't do either. And that's game number one in the book. Typical. You got to score that, man. Fantasy points, dude. Fantasy. Jeez, man. Come on. Come on, now. What are you doing? All right. Go to the ball. Sathy's got a, a dribble attempt against Rizzo. Well done by Rizzo. Making the save. Like, that's just a 1v1 play. Uh, JNAPS did probably get back in time. But... Chicago trying to keep it deep. And JNAPS, uh oh, the double commit there. Little miscommunication. Should have been uh, Rizzo's ball, probably. Because he's, like, more lined up for it. And Chicago tries to just hurry this up. So that's more on, Ch on Chicago, in my mind. And JNAPS out of the play. But Chicago does get back in time. Let's get. To the side here. We're not on the ball here. Sorry about that. There we go. Good pass from XP to typical, but really poor first touch here. By typical. But he just going into the corner trying to force it. But Rizzo, well done to defend this corner. He's doing a really good job on the 1v1 defensive plays so far. For Rizzo. Which is something like at times his defense can be a bit shaky, so. He's doing a decent job. So typical gets this ball out. No one's there to hit it. Sathy just has to force that 50. There's nothing else he can do. AXP with another shot. JNF's going to be able to clear it. Throws it into a safe spot. Surprised Rizzo jumps for that. He should probably know he's going to lose that ball. And maybe go for the boost. I'm not sure if the boost is actually there. It looks like it was, and typical stole it. Hard to tell, though, but I think so. I think that's why Rizzo also does this poor clear. And all three are in the same spot. So, that's all because of that boost grab and that weird corner play by Rizzo. Sathy, not the greatest touch here on this clear out by Chicago, but he's the last one back. That's all he can really do. So, what he was forced into is not bad, but he was up just a little too far forward, obviously. But he at least gets it over to his boy. AXP. Good play there. Boom. All right. Simple as that. And Chicago's just chilling on the wall here. Getting a little confused and, yeah. Just a dunk. Dunk by XB. But Shago was a little bit... Uh, he, like, he grabbed the boost, spun out on the wall instead of, like, spinning out on the ground. Maybe thought the ball was going to come a little further out. Rizzo, good win there. And can they score? Yes, they can. So this is all Rizzo here. So typical. First off, let's go back to typical. He just whiffs, basically, on that aerial dribble. Like, that's just a bad aerial dribble. And Chicago clears it out. Sathy's moving forward. AXP gets beat by Rizzo. But that's just a good ball by hitting it off the ceiling to make it come down as quickly as possible. And then get the goal. <clears throat> Sathy, big face off win to himself and gets the boost. That's always nice. Typical trying to throw it over to Sathy, which he's got the boost while many G2 does it. Ooh, Rizzo. This is a dangerous ball for sure. He's in an awkward spot, though. He's he's going up the wall to try and defend it. And then he's like, oh, crap. What the hell do I do with this? Luckily, it passes out to Chicago just barely. That's more luck than anything. 
And then JNAPs to Chicago, but not much going on because they both moved up a little too far. Rizzo has a chance at a shot. That probably should be a better shot. This is relatively weak by Rizzo. Probably could have been a goal. And sh oh, Chicago can't get the rebound, so we play on. XB, ooh, just trying to hurry things a little too much. I feel like very bluey like in like he's trying to jump before the wall bounce when he doesn't necessarily need to. He's gonna win that ball uh, even if he jumps another full second later. So that's the only thing he's gotta slow down maybe a little bit just to make sure he has those reads. Safi, really poor play there. Never should have came out for this ball. <clears throat> Had to avoid a little bit of a demo by Rizzo, but that's just poor play. And Chicago, great job, great self pass to himself. And Rizzo being a little bit of a nuisance there. Safi, good. Oh, actually, bad pass out. So this play looks so uh, good. And that's why both of them move up here with Sipkul and AXB to see who Safi's going to pass to. But he actually passes it to Rizzo. So that's a bad play. Could have been better. AXB should have the challenge. Good fake there by Chicago. Can't get the goal, though. I'm actually surprised AC like doesn't challenge this more directly on the ball. Cause he's got time to. And I guess maybe not, cause looks like Chicago's trying to shoot left. Maybe it's a good fake, but typical huge save there. Safi, good win and a nice high clear. It forces both Rizzo and Chicago up. This ball, I feel like probably more Chicago, cause Rizzo's flying backwards to it. Uh, but I think it's m mostly they both went up because they didn't want a touch by Sipical here. So that's why they kind of forced the double commit up. But I think that's more of uh, Chicago's ball. And on the other hand, this is more of a Rizzo ball. So Rizzo right here should definitely hit this ball. But JNAPS, again, he's flying away from the ball and sitting it. Like, if you're flying away from the ball, like I think they're just so worried about the touch by Sipical. And he's not even that close to the ball. Like, another bad double commit there by G2. Luckily, it hasn't hurt them here just yet. But they do lose possession there. And now it's been Space Station's ball for a little bit. We'll see if that continues. Looks like it will continue. Pass out. Good play by Matthew and Rizzo both to be there. Chicago, nice little soft touch, but he falls into his own net, so he can't follow it up. Luckily, AXP doesn't really do anything with it. Oh, sorry about the grid. But... We talked about those two double commits earlier. This whole time, it's been Space Station's ball. Like, they still have uh, ball possession here. So, Jane Apps, he, he gets the clear. But still, like, I wouldn't call this a G2 ball just yet. They haven't had possession on the offensive side yet at all. Like, maybe there, you can kind of say it was, like, a little bit. But nothing definitive. So, it's still Space Station's ball. Great pass there by Sipical to AXB. So this 50-50 is kind of just unfortunate. JNAPS, though, wants that boost, just makes a poor touch. And that ball just spills right out. And great pass there by Sipical to AXB. And uh, this is Rizzo just going back to net. Kind of forced into it uh, after that bad touch. So he backs up a little bit further. Um, maybe he comes out a little bit earlier because he knows that JNAPS is coming th uh, from the wall. But like I, like, you can't really blame him here because you don't expect JNAPS to probably make that save. It's a lot harder. So, well done. But, honestly, that all started with those two weird double commits. Like, first by Rizzo and then by JNAPS to give Space Station that possession. And they held it for, like, a minute. So. Oh, my nose is killing me. Safi off the wall. Probably could put this one in, but I think he's expecting that JNAPS probably gets a tap. He's trying to hurry it a little bit. Chicago gets the clear and gets to keep the ball, which I'm actually surprised about. I think it's more AXP trying to play safe, but he already has typical rotating behind him. So I'm surprised he doesn't try and challenge this. I think he just needs a boost, maybe. But typical makes the challenge. JNAP's great little touch there. And they get the demo. Why not? A little icing on the cake. Uh, Rizzo goes for the aerial dribble. But no one's going up for it. They're just like, go ahead, Rizzo. Do your thing. And typical gets the clear. But not a great clear. Goes right to JNAPS. But this is kind of a poor touch by JNAPS. He has a ton of time here. Like, he's got a lot of open space. He has a pass open in the midfield, but doesn't go for it. Just throws it off the back wall, and AXP's there. And they get the clear. Actually, really hard clear. Should have been a goal. 
And these plays are always hard for Sipical because he's expecting probably the other player to hit it. But the thing is, is when you expect them to hit it, you still should be lined up for if they're going to miss it because he's obviously jumping for that. But this happens in my brain all the time where, like, I'll jump up for a play where I hope they miss. But if they get close to it, it screws up my angles for some reason. But I'm also garbage at Rocket League. So that can happen. Shouldn't happen in the RLCS. This is an easy goal. He also jumps early for this for no reason. The only thing that maybe I can defend him for is he thinks this is crossbar down and, and back up. So he's trying to jump early for it. That's the only thing. But yeah, it's just a bad read. He jumps early for honestly no reason at all. Um, we'll go back to the ball. So that should be a goal. Rizzo with a weak shot here. This could have been a goal too, or at least a little bit more threatening. He's actually lined up pretty well for the shot. And XB is in an okay spot, but he's got no momentum going anywhere. Like if Rizzo can throw that opposite corner, he probably has a goal here. Uh, but Rizzo was lined up pretty well for this. He has boost and everything. Yeah, he tries for, for, like for the fancy little side flip shot. He just kind of misreads this first ball. Like... Yeah, he thinks that's going to be a lot harder out. And then he tries to side flip to make up for it. And these shots are obviously really hard. Can't really time these that well. Uh, so he tries for it, but he could have lined up a little bit better. Had a little bit more of a quality shot, but might not have been in anyway. Let's go back to Flyby. Go to ball. Chicago. Huge save here by XB. So he spells that out. There's not much he can do here, XB. I wonder how much boost he has. Yeah, he's only got 20 boost. So he's like, well, screw it. I'm going up here and hoping for the best. And Chicago tries to place it down. And JNAPS, he's looking for the demo. It's not there because, they, because AXB's on the ceiling of his net. A brilliant save there to keep them in this game. JNAPS, great pass out to Chicago. Just a little bit of a weak redirect there from Chicago. And this is a bad play by both Typical and AXB. I would say more AXB. Sure, it's a weak touch by Sipical, but if AXP saw it coming, he could have been the first one up for it. But Rizzo, a smart play here to settle it down, but Sipical is kind of just in the way. Good pass here by Rizzo. Great save there by Sipical to just completely stuff JNAPS. And Safi will get the clear. But here, we still got a lot of possession for G2. Finally, that possession ends with that really weak touch by JNAPS. Goes out to Sipical, turns into a scoring chance to Safi, but they do get the clear. And this is dangerous. Rizzo tries to get it mid, just skies it a little bit. And we'll go to overtime. Sathew, good aerial dribbles to try and force something. But nothing comes of it. Which is okay as long as uh, like typical doesn't do this. That's a ball that he should give to AXB. He's further back. He, he has the better angle. But Rizzo just throws it to AXB. He can't really get the pass. Like, those plays are hard to get behind the ball for because, like, he has to basically half volley it right off the wall. Not much he can do. He's probably trying to force it off the backboard and just force a hard clear or a bad clear by AXB. But he doesn't get power on it, so AXB can get the easier clear and gets it over JNAPS. And then we see Chicago do what he can there. And now G2 is kind of on the back foot because of all this. Good bump there by XB. And Sipical takes it back into the corner. Rizzo's late to that ball, but Chicago's there before Sathew. JNAP's trying to be a nuisance on AXB. But AXB avoids it. Well done. But this ball does spill out. And a relatively weak shot by Rizzo here. I think Rizzo was... Um, I think he jumped, but he didn't realize the ceiling touch was going to happen that early. Let's see. Let's see it again. No, that's just a weak shot, generally. Like, I think he's trying for the bounce shot, maybe. And he's trying, once again, to, uh, to go for that side flip, like, misdirection shot to throw them off. And this is kind of a big save by Safi, but he does get a relatively weak touch. Say he hits that harder and tries to go for, like, the bounce to the top left. It's good. I like the idea. It just kind of gets a weak shot. But maybe if Safi's not there, maybe Sipical does not make that save. Because that's hard to read for Sipical because of that side flip at the last second. 
So maybe. Maybe it would have worked. So maybe that's just a big save by Sathy. <clears throat> Sathy again. Good play. And Sipkel beats JNAPS. That's a really dangerous play by JNAPS here. We have two players in the air for G2. And JNAPS goes to this play. That is ballsy. That is... All right. So it's not really ballsy. It's just a bad play. Because JNAPS should not be there for that play at all. That's super dangerous. They get lucky, though. And everyone comes back. But the pass and play happens. I like this check back by Rizzo where he doesn't go all the way back to the net because he knows he's got his teammate who's rotating to the back of the net. So he's trying to guard that infield pass. So well done by Rizzo here to do just that. So AXP is rushed on that play and it turns back into a possession by G2. Not too much happening here. AXP gets a decent clear. Let's see what Chicago can do back. AXP trying to go wild here. <laughs> Probably not needed, that's for sure. <clears throat> Sathew to typical to Sathew. Uh, maybe to XB instead. Good pass in place, but again, XB. When it comes down to the very last shot. See, Space Nation, they do 95% of it right. But then sometimes this happens. He's trying to throw it behind Rizzo. He probably doesn't even need to. Probably could have threw it to the other side. But... That's what we go for. And then we see Sipical also miss. Let's go over to Sipical. Yep. He, so he's trying to read the post. So I get why Sipical misses this first shot. And that one too makes sense because he had to hurry it, you know. So Sipical, I don't blame you for this one. Tries to get that other tap but doesn't have enough boost. And let's go over to Sathy. Let's just make it a trifecta. It wasn't a trifecta. Sathu, don't worry about it. That was all Rizzo just making the defensive play. XP comes back at it. Tries to the double tap. Ooh, just barely misses. So again, just cl close. Could have had it, but misses. <clears throat> Set up a goal. Just trying to keep this play alive for them. It does a decent job, but at this point, they got to get back for boost, right? At some point. But this is kind of a poor clear by JNAPS. He kind of rushes this, but at the same time, with all that pressure that, that just built up, uh, this is like an unforced error, basically, where like he thinks he has to force this out, but he doesn't. So it turns back into his space station ball possession here. Just a hard clear out, and G2 is not going to ha have a lot of boost, so they can't really fly for this. And this turns into another chance, but Sathew just kind of whiffs on it. This should be a much better touch by Sathew. Uh, we'll go over to player view, see what, see what happened to him. He's got 100 boost. Honestly, no excuses on this play. This has just got to be a better shot. It doesn't have to necessarily go in, but you have to put that on net. Good pass out by Sipical. Great fake there by XP, but he misses that first touch for the dribble, but it works out because he has Sathew there as well. So we'll say it's all planned. Sathew, again, that has to go in. Sathew, I'm sorry, buddy, but you got to make these shots. Uh, maybe he had no boost. Maybe. Maybe I'll give it to him. No, nope. that's got to go in, Sathy. I'm sorry. Hey, Sipical, guess what? That also has to go in, buddy. <laughs> it just has to happen. There's no one there. It's wide open on that side. That has to go in. Okay, so he misses that. And, you know, why not? Here's the trifecta that I was thinking about earlier. AXB, I guess he has no boost. Again, not a trifecta. I wanted it to be, but it wasn't. He has no boost left, so he can't really do anything with it. So we'll go back to the ball view. But Space Station... All these opportunities. They got to put one of these home. You got to take out G2 early. Luckily, they win this overtime anyway. But man, oh man. You got to make sure you score those goals in the ROCS. <clears throat> All right. AXB with possession here. Good challenge by Rizzo. But also good challenge by AXB. We like to call those a stalemate. Sathew out to typical. Good read though by Chicago. But look at this, Space Station. It's all them this entire overtime. The replay files are on Reddit. There's links for them. You can watch any point of view you want. <clears throat> JNAPS. Ooh, just a little bit too hard. It's trying to feed Chicago here. But just a little too far. And I think Chicago was looking for a demo so JNAPS can just score it. But neither happened. Rizzo, good pass here to JNAPS. I really like that play. Where he doesn't have much that he can do, but he throws it out perfectly to JNAPS. Great supportive play. 
by Rizzo. Or J Naps, whoever you want to call the supportive defensive player there, but it was a great pass. <clears throat> I saw a couple of those from Rizzo throughout these series. Great pass here. J Naps down to Rizzo. And J Naps, you got to put these ones home too, buddy. This has got to be a goal. Rizzo, beautiful pass. Yeah, he, he just hurried it just a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Like, that one's less egregious than uh, the plays from Space Station. Sathy trying to slow it down. The 50-50 comes out. Let's see what Simple can do. He skies that ball. Really hard read here. So I don't really blame him. But he gets the touch, just doesn't get the goal. But again, another golden opportunity for Space Station, which is... Like, at the fault of both teams, really, you know? Like, G2's giving up these golden opportunities, but Space Station's not finishing them, so. S like, kind of similar to the Mouse Sports and Triple Trouble. Good read by Chicago. Tries to get a second touch, cannot get it. JNAP's decent pass, but this ball for Rizzo probably shouldn't fly for this at this point because, like, Chicago's still trying to get boost, and the ball kind of creeps a little too far forward. Like, you got to know that the other guy's going to make the play. Probably the reason why he goes up is to just force a 50-50 instead, but he doesn't get that, and typical almost beats Chicago. That's actually a really good play by Chicago there to just kind of creep up there, make that 50-50 happen. This pass just goes a little too far forward for Chicago. Could end of the game. Another pretty decent clear by Rizzo, but just barely can't get it to JNAPS. My nose. Oh. And typical down. Rizzo can't make the play. Typical tries to bump JNAPS, but just gets in the way of the ball. It wouldn't have mattered. That was going to be save either way. Oh, no. AXB with a huge whiff. It's also a whiff by Sathew here a little bit. So they both just completely whiffed. That's just like, oh boy. Could have been the end of the game. Decent pass by Jane Apps, but Rizzo can't really get a handle on it. Sathy just trying to be a nuisance here. Jane Apps might have been able to score. But can't put it on target. HP down to typical to Sathy, but again, that last line of defense for G2 will get there. When you do two backboard passes back to back, it's usually someone's gonna get there on defense. <clears throat> I'm disappointed they didn't show the overall stats at the end of the broadcast for G2 Space Station series. I really want to see the shooting percentage. Uh, I'll bring it up at the end of this. Just uh, remind me at the end of the series. JNAP's good. Soft touch to the corner. Nice dribble there. Oh, but then he whiffs. <laughs> All that, and then he whiffs. Typical makes the play, but now everyone's just getting on top of one another here in this corner. But right now, it's just a battle in the same exact corner over and over and over again. Just hoping someone can get a pass out or clear out. Whichever one comes first. And there it is, the clear finally by Rizzo to JNAPS. Now G2's got possession here. JNAPS flips out of it, which is good. Just to stay alive for this play. And that's just unfortunate. Not much you can do here. We'll go over JNAPS' point of view. <clears throat> He gets the pass from Chicago. Tries to throw it on net. He has to rush it. And it just hits Chicago. It's just one of those things, you know. It happens. <clears throat> Rizzo at the JNAPS. Ooh, he tries to that opposite corner. JNAPS barely missing again. Now both teams have had scoring chances. Look, this overtime was crazy. Now Chicago, but AXP, huge clear out. And Rizzo, very, very poor touch. So it keeps this ball alive for Space Station, and that's the goal. That's basically on this Rizzo extremely poor touch here. He kind of, um, let's go over to Rizzo real quick. Let's see what happened. Was he still getting boost at that point? No, he has boost from there. 
So that's weird. All right, so he picks up this boost. Then still turns off ball cam before it hits the ceiling, so he doesn't know exactly where he's going to hit the ceiling to look for the other boost. You got the boost. Don't worry about the other boost. Just worry about the big boom and clear. I think he wanted to defend his boost and not let Space Station pick it up. But because of this right here, he then goes too far back and then has to hustle for this play and make a weird touch instead of just turning and doing a half volley hit where he clears that out and it's a pass to Chicago. So just poor touch there. It forces j Naps up. And AXB, he gets the dunk. And after that, just turns into a pass. And then Rizzo also misses that play. So that's just on Rizzo right there for that overtime loss. At least for that part of it. There was obviously plays where j Naps could have scored and all that shit. But uh, yeah, so there you go. Move on to the next game. And here's where G2 mounts the comeback. Comeback. All right, let's go to the ball. All right. <clears throat> and sometimes it's that simple. It's like Rizzo turned on his ball cam for a half second and you lose in overtime. You know, it's like sometimes it's that simple. It's that small of, of differences for uh, these guys. All right. Right now, so this ball by Rizzo is like, he kind of has to do something, maybe, but all three players on Space Station are back. He's probably going up because he's like, I don't want the other team to hit this. And he puts it in a really good spot, just places it in the corner towards j -Nap, so it's a really good ball. But he could have went really poorly. But I think it's more of like, hey, the pass by Chicago wasn't great, and I need to put this somewhere. Uh, Simple almost gets that read, but just barely misses it. You now Chicago forces the 50, but Simple's there. Nice half volley clear by the Riz. Let's see what Chicago can do with this. Off the ceiling. Brilliant pass out. I think uh, Rizzo expected one more touch here by Chicago uh, with a flip, like, right there, probably. I think that's what Rizzo's waiting for, maybe a little bit, but... A uh, typical reads it first. But that was a really nice play by Chicago, at least to almost get something go. Ooh, the demos. So one demo here by what was that, Sathy on Rizzo? Oh no, it was Rizzo on Sathy, sorry. And typical on Chicago. But now, there's no Sathew, so good play by Rizzo. And good hesitation there, because he didn't have to really hit that ball yet. So good defense there by Riz. So these plays are always tough, because you want to safely put it back into your own corner. But you know that the shooter just went to that corner. So sometimes it's good, if possible, to try and throw it behind you into your opposite corner. But it's a really difficult play. So Rizzo kind of just has to be forced into this play. Throw it right at typical and hope he doesn't get a good pass. And that's one way to do it. Just destroy Sathew again. So well done by, Sh by Chicago here. And now he's got a dribble play. He wow, he's wide open. Uh, j -Naps just bodying AXP out. And Chicago, a little bit of a poor dribble. Poor touch there by j -Naps to lose possession. Rizzo, good control there on the defensive touch. But the demo came out. Should be goal. There we go. So good demo here by Sepical to open it up. And this isn't a bad shot by Simpical. He can't really do much with this. He turns on this basically as quickly as he can. Just to set up Sathy. Well done. Well, uh, like a great follow-up there by Sathy as well to re uh, recognize that play. And Space Station, they're up 1-0. Up two games in the series. But after this, it all kind of goes downhill. AXP, the double touch. Really weak hit. But, I don't know, he should have boost. So this is just... Like, this is surprising. Because I expect AXP to hit these much better than what he showed in uh, this one and the double tap on Wasteland. I'm expecting better from him. Turns into a hard clear. Puts Space Station on the defensive footing now. Let's see how long G uh, G2 can hold this. This is what, around the three minute mark. So let's see how long they hold possession because of that just one poor double tap. <clears throat> JNAPS trying, trying, trying. Everyone's waiting to see what JNAPS does. Eventually, the ball spills out. 
Chicago, though. Can't really do much, but still. Still possession for G2. So all because of one really, really poor double touch. G2 has possession for at least 30 seconds so far. Finally, it, it goes out. So right here, I would cancel out the possession for G2 because we get a solid 50-50 here by Sathew on the other side of the field. So they had it for 35 seconds-ish because of one poor double tap. And that's like the difference nowadays in Rocket League and why you see players that, like, if you can't hit a double tap like that on a consistent basis, at least like, you know, half the time, uh, if not more, then you're going to be off the Rocket League team. I'm not saying that's the case for AXB. I feel like he hits those more than he does it. But that's the difference nowadays. Now, of course, if there's no goal scored. And G2 regains possession right back right after it, too. This is going to be a tough save for Rizzo. He's got to place it into a corner. He does a really good job once again. Very similar to the save earlier. And these were the saves I really enjoyed from Rizzo, where he either will pass it to a teammate, or he sets it up for himself to force a 50-50. He's done that a bunch of times throughout the series. <clears throat> he obviously had that blunder in overtime, but overall, solid defensive performance by Rizzo. A typical good double tap. See what Sathy can do. Looks like they got a little confused on who's going to take this ball. Typical had no boost. I think he wants to give it over to Sathy, but Sathy just never goes for it. A little bit of confusion there. Sathy... Creeping up field still here. Really wants to be involved in this play. Which makes sense because he's got Sipical going back. But Sipical has to cut his rotation early because Sathu tries for this play. And Rizzo does a really good job with the bump to open up the door for Chicago. So well done there. But that's more just confusion on that play where Sathu has boost and Sipical doesn't. And then Sathu trying to stay involved, but it doesn't work out. <clears throat> All right, typical. Going for the aerial dribble. JNF's made some AXB. Bad read here. It's a weird read because the ball is hitting so hard up and down. It's a play that you don't see a lot. So I get it. But Sathy's got to retreat. This could be very, very bad. But Sathy, great read there. Great job there. That's a great defensive play because he knows that pass is coming out. Turns into a shot for typical. Extremely weak shot, though. He probably could have done a decent amount more here. You really want to hit that off the backboard, probably. <clears throat> Sorry about the nose. XP trying to get the pass out. Too typical. He does, but it's a little too hard. So they don't get anything with this. And Sathu moves up maybe a little bit too long. On this play, like right there, he probably should have got out. As soon as he saw the touch. But XP will be here. And now Sathu's following it up. But see how Sathu was like a half second late to that? Say he turns around quicker... On that previous play, he's probably there for that 50 50 and wins it. Now, Jay Naps and Typical are forced into the 50. A double commit comes out. That's not Sathy's ball. That should be AXB's ball. And G2 keeps possession for a bit here. Jay Naps pass out to Chicago. This is dangerous. Good fake there by Chicago, but AXB is there. Once again, it's like a really good fake by Chicago, but there's two defenders, so it's hard to fake both. So the other one makes the save. Good clear by Sathew. Just force them into their own corner. See if Sipical can get a 50-50 here. He does, but it's a very poor 50-50. I actually want to go over to Sipical's point of view here. Because this looks like he should get a much better one than he does. But I think he gets greedy and stays on the wall. Nope. Uh, it's probably more because he's trying to get to the corner. And, like, the corner kind of eats your jump a little bit, so he just jumps a little bit late. So that's why uh, Chicago wins that ball so cleanly. We'll go back to the ball. And there it goes. Flying. Almost into the net. So this is a good ball by Sathew. Throws it to AXB. This is actually good positioning by AXB as well. On this supportive clear. Just kind of whiffs. That's basically it. He should have had it, but he whiffed on it. We've seen a lot of that from AXB towards the end of the series. Rizzo, good defensive play. Good support there by Chicago. And typical with the whiff. Pretty simple here. It's like a, it, like it's a tough angle. Like he has to beat this ball. And I think he was worried about probably Chicago hitting this more than J-Dubs. Let's see. 
No, he, he shouldn't have been worried about that. It's just a misread. Yeah. And that's a goal. Simple as that. But it was all forced because of that curve and that possession. Driving down the court. Sathy, tip out the XP. It's not a bad play. But Sathy right there should be leaving much earlier. Because uh, he knows his teammate is coming up for that shot. So he should have been bouncing a little bit earlier. I think he's more worried about, because uh, there's 10 things left, to just be involved. But the reason why I say leave, and it's not necessarily leave, it's just circle around to be on the 18-yard like, the box area, like on the outside of it, so you can look for that rebound. Sathy goes up. Typical. Trying to get this touch out. James with the shot. Good save by XB. At least keep it alive, too. But nothing doing. And that's the end of that game. So that game was close. That game was really close. Space Station could have took game three. Relatively, even though I feel like G2 had a little bit more possession. But uh, just a couple mistakes there from Space Station where if they could have capitalized on one of their chances or, you know, just didn't have that one whiff at the end, they could have easily won that game. And this game, uh, like this series could have been a sweep. And that's why it's so funny when we talk about Rocket League, where it's like, because of that one whiff, now we're saying, wow, G2 adapted so well in Space Station shit, you know? Just the way it is. Or not shit, obviously, but you know what I'm saying. All right, uh, let's go to play review, or fly cam. My phone's ringing? Or no, that was a car outside. It sounded like my phone was ringing, but it was not. All right. And these will be up on YouTube as well afterwards, so you guys can check them out. We'll probably put up the European one today. We'll put up the NA one tomorrow. And that'll be probably all I do for this week. Thought I heard something outside, sorry. All right, let's continue. We might do a predictions thing too uh, for Friday. What's it, Wednesday? Yeah, okay. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There you go. We're all set. We got our videos for the week. Chicago, great shot here. All right, let's go back a little bit to see what happened here. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked. Straight apps. Yes, that pass out. I want to go back even further, actually, just to see what happened. Sathew goes up. Great clear by Rizzo. And now Sipical is on the back foot because of that great uh, clear by Rizzo. And Jane Apps beats out AXP. It's just a great play by Rizzo, followed by a great play by Jane Apps, followed by a good play by Chicago to force this 50 50. And now they have possession. Now everyone from Space Station is on the goal line. Now Rizzo has plenty of time to come out and do stuff. Relatively weak touch by Sathew. He wants to hit that towards AXP. So now JNAPS can throw this up. And now Sipical just has to hope and pray. And Chicago, brilliant placement there. So well done by uh, G2 there. Showing off all three players on a solid play. Yeah, like, the one strength that I find from Rizzo, or the one main strength, is his vision on passes. Like, I feel like sometimes, and, like, he improved this a lot last season, sometimes his mechanical play can be a little bit off. Not, like, terrible, but just not, like, top of RLCS quality. But his vision is normally always there for plays, in my opinion. <clears throat> But he's gotten a lot better over the past year. Like I feel like his mechanical play it used to be a lot worse. But it's been super solid lately. Ooh, just barely a miss with Sathew. But Chicago can't get the read here anyway. So it actually works out. Chicago needs to hit that ball. Tries for the half volley, I think. Instead of trying for like the safety play. And this is a play I would make every single time. Where I'm like, I want the half volley. I want the big clear when... Probably just could have went for the safety play. Let's see. He's got no boost. He's probably going as fast as he could, actually. Just barely misses it. So, oh well. It happens. All right, move forward. <clears throat> it's just one of those plays where he's already going full speed. Like, what can you do? He's not really trying for that volley. Just happens to be there. JNAPS tries to hit this as softly as he can. To follow it up. See how Rizzo, he was trying to creep forward because he wants to support JNAPS. But as soon as JNAPS hits it like that, he knows he can't. So he gets back on defense. So that's a solid play by Rizzo. Which is, he didn't really do anything. He drove from here to here. But just that decision alone is a solid play. 
Good pass out. Too much space. Way too much space here, though, by Space Station. Like, Safi hits this ball out, but why is XP going back to net? Where's the other player? Let's go back. So, XP's here. So, Sipical has to rotate out. It's going to take him a little while. So, I guess I can see why, but sypical has got to be maybe involved in that middle play. Eh, I guess not, really. Like, I think it's just a, a catch on the rotation where XP kind of is forced back to the net. But there's Sipical. He finally shows up to intercept. So that's a good play by Sipical to finally show up and intercept the midfield pass. So XP has to go to the goal line. Because he's got to respect a shot at all times, basically. And the other guy coming back should be the one trying to intercept the pass. So he eventually gets it. Okay. Ball goes over their heads. Rizzo, this is a really far aerial, but it pays off. But honestly, um, a little bit dangerous for sure. Chicago thrown to the wall. Ooh, both players myths. That should have been a typical touch, but what can you do? And then this touch also is pretty poor by Safi. He just throws it right to Rizzo. Rizzo just goes for the boom and clear. Maybe he could have had some passing options available, but that's fine. Now Chicago just takes their boost. Probably stay up a little bit too much, but I think he's more worried about the boost starve than anything there for Chicago because he knows it's relatively safe. <clears throat> this is a poor touch by Rizzo. He just doesn't get a good touch on it because the ball kind of pops off a little bit too much. So it goes to AXP. And, and AXP almost gets that surprise shot on them. Just barely misses. Everyone's missing again. Sipical gets a nice touch out. That's a good touch because Rizzo can't really do anything with it. I'm shocked even JNF's even tried to jump at this. He should have just left right there. Right here, I would just bail. Because Rizzo's obviously not going to get a good touch on this ball. So it's not really worth, and Chicago moves up on this. This is a ballsy play by G2. Pretty poor position play. It pays off, but I don't like to play at all. One of them had to be going back there to just respect the hit a little bit. But it pays off and turns into a goal. So, hey, you know what? What do I know? Don't think it was necessarily a great play, but, hey, you know what? Good on you, Chicago. <clears throat> uh, Sathy actually got pretty late to this ball He jumped super late I guess because he needed the boost So Rizzo, a good read here And typical it does get it out Because XP missed Actually kind of helped Jnaps with a whiff Oh, but not the greatest ball by Sathio. I think he's trying for a self-pass here. And doesn't throw it exactly what he wants. Or he's trying to throw it more lateral. But Rizzo does a good job at, uh, with this interception here. I just hit the wrong button. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. There we go. See what Sathio would do with this. Probably nothing. Rizzo should have the clear. Should just get the boost. Oh, Sathio missed it. Or there was none. Could be a replay bug. Poor touch here by Sipical. He's got space. He's got time. Like, Chicago m f maybe somewhat fakes this challenge to force this. But it wasn't that good of a fake. Just goes right to Rizzo, though. So there's an easy clear. Good pinch, though. And this forces Chicago to go back. And this forces Space Station to get possession here. Good soft touch there by XP. Just, he probably needed to tilt it a little bit back further towards Matthew. And maybe they have a chance, but Rizzo's there anyway. And... You can't have these misses. I think Sipical is expecting JNAPS to hit this. Just a nice little fake out there, uh, there by JNAPS. But, like, on those plays, you have to try and be in a spot where you can challenge. Where you challenge where they want to hit it. But you can also go through the ball, wherever that ball is. And I think there was a chance there by Sipical. But he went for a little bit more of a risky play. And it turns into a counterattack. Let's watch it from this side. So right here is a little confusion between JNAPS and Rizzo, and I think that uh, makes AXB turn around because he wants to try and get involved on this play. But that actually helps them a lot, and Rizzo gets the aerial dribble over. And then this pinch pass is just brilliant. And also, Sathew, he rotates short post for really no reason here. There's really no reason to rotate right there. He wants to intercept this pass, but you can intercept this pass by rotating like here. 
not necessarily where you're not even in front of the net at all. I'm not really sure I like this play. Say he rotates here. He still has enough time to block a shot. Because there's two ways that this happens, right? Where Rizzo pinches this, and it goes mid. And Sathew wouldn't get to the ball before it's in front of the net. Uh, say he rotates here. The ball would be in front of the net for a little bit. But he knows that Chicago's not close, so there's no real chance for a goal. And if Rizzo pinches it, then Rizzo can't follow it up. So you don't have to worry about like a doobsy dish here from Rizzo. Now, if Rizzo wants a doomsday dish, Sathew can easily rotate here, and there'll be plenty of time for Sathew to get there in time. Now, maybe Sathew's going for this rotation because he wants to go up the wall and meet Rizzo on the pass. He's expected Rizzo to go up the wall and then pass it, which he does not do, obviously. So maybe he's going for that, but I feel like there's just more options available on defense if you come this way. Uh, so Sathew, maybe a little bit too much of an over-rotation or cut rotation on that near post. Turns to a goal. <clears throat> All right. Sathu gets the clear, but Rizzo, nice little dish out to Jane Apps. His force is a 50. That's good enough. Good read by Sathu here. And now they got an offensive chance. Good shot. Beautiful. JNAP's out of play for a while here. Where'd JNAP's go? I'm gonna come back this way just to see. <clears throat> oh, so JNAP's not for that high area. Yeah, that makes sense. So JNAP's with that clear. He just uh, gets hung up in the air for a while. Just a really good read there by Sathew. And now Chicago was creeping up field. So Chicago should not have been creeping up field here. That's basically the main issue here. When JNAP's is out of play by that much. And there's probably a 50-50 here. Maybe he thought there would be no 50-50 and Sathy would leave. That's why he came up. But that's the main problem. So he tries to force it out. He needs to basically pop that in the air. Just to waste as much time as possible. But it comes down to AXB. And now they're just in trouble. Turns to a goal. So a little bit of a bad play by Chicago. Space Station on the comeback trail. And then Sathew... This is a brilliant kickoff, man. He just wins this outright and gets it by the other two. Just barely. Brilliant kickoff. And now we got a tie game. And There's a two-goal lead for G2. And now G2 fans are like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Here we go. Extremely greedy play here by Sathew. Extremely greedy. Let's go over to Sathew's point of view. So anytime on a kickoff... When you go for the chip hit, um, instead of jumping into the ball and trying to power through, it is a greedy play. You know that you're going to be challenged. This is such a greedy play. He doesn't even jump at all. He jumps after the ball, and Rizzo just dominates him. That's a super greedy play there. Don't like it. <clears throat> it gives possession to G2, but Simple does a really good job there, clearing it around the wall. And now Rizzo does another good job to wrap it around the wall again. And now it's just back and forth here. Sathew, a little bit hiding his net there a little bit hard. There was no demo attempt, so I'm surprised, but whatever. Good save by XB. Yeah. So XB's a little bit late to this wall. I don't think he expected Sh uh, Chicago to be there. See how uh, XB has to turn away from this? Let's actually watch this from the other point of view so we can see it a little bit better. <clears throat> so let's watch a little bit back. So Simple Glow trying to beat out Jane Naps, and Sathy's trying to help, which probably not the greatest idea now, of course, in hindsight. But Jane Naps just gets that little tap, and he just leaves. He's like, I'm out. Uh, like, Rizzo, you do your thing. So Rizzo gets this ball out. Now, this is the thing. No one expects Chicago to come from the other side and tap this ball. So AXP is very surprised by this, and AXP is in a little bit of a bad position as well. He tries to meet it. He doesn't get the best of touches, and then, uh-oh, then we're in trouble. So, Sipical also takes his time here. You see how Sipical does not go back right away? He's just kind of hovering around. Both him and Sathy are hovering around Rizzo here, where, say, Sipical rotates out. Maybe they have a chance here, but he's taking a sweet, sweet time to get back, and by the time he gets back, he's dead. Beautiful demo by Rizzo. Let's see if it would have mattered. I'm going to see what's, what would happen with Sipical on this play. I think Sipical makes the save. 
Yeah, he probably makes that save. He probably tips that out. But Rizzo, brilliant demo there. And G2 gets the win. Nothing happens on this kickoff, right? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. The ball just didn't move. <laughs> this is glitch, I guess. Yeah, okay. There we go. Go to game five. So again, super close games. Like, Space Station had opportunities here to win them. If that game was more G2 dominant, it was just that that kickoff goal was a little fluky um, to make it seem a lot closer. But uh, definitely some chances, for sure. All right, let's go to game five. Champions Field. A field that G2 used to dominate on, but last year, towards the end, didn't as much. They lost the World Championships on two game fives, so. But it seems like they're getting their mojo back with it. So we don't miss anything in chat. Uh, not too much. Okay. So let's go back and see what happens here. So Rizzo, good challenge. Sathy tries for the clear, but Chicago reads it. And brilliant pass to Jane Apps. That's just like, hey, so he's got no chance there. That's just a really, really nice play by Chicago. Whoa! 3D! Watch out, guys. Sathy, good read there. Just beat him out. Typical. Ooh. Typical, typical, typical. Look, this could have been a goal. He was close. Let's see what happened exactly. He doesn't have a boost. So he's got to go up maybe earlier than he wants. Maybe. But he has to try and rush it. Obviously, he's expecting a goalie to be there. So that's probably why. Like, if he knows he has that much time, he probably makes a better shot. But he doesn't know exactly. Another good pass there by Chicago. Straight down to Rizzo. Off the wall here. Brilliant play by Chicago once again. And Rizzo whew, just goes for the fake. Like, Rizzo goes for a lot of fakes. On dribbles. Like, a ton of fakes. But right there, the ball just kind of got away from him. So he couldn't really do much else. But most of the time, when I see him dribble... Like, actually, when he was on take three... I literally thought that Rizzo could not dribble. Like, he didn't know how to dribble. Because every single time he would fake. Like, literally every time. Nowadays, he... Like, I know he can dribble, but... I'm pretty sure back then. I, I'm, not, I'm not positive he could. Because he would fake every single time. <coughs> but... He couldn't do much there. The ball just got a little bit away from him. Now we're just fighting in the corner here for a little bit. Sip go out. Sathu. Jane Apps reads it, though. But AXP is there. And that's why you fly to those. Even if Sathu's not going to hit it, you need to keep the defense honest and force them to hit it as quickly as possible. So Jane Apps has to hit that down AXP, and they keep possession because of it. Sure, Sathu didn't get any piece of it, but it puts pressure on it. Like, that's basically... Um, a forced error by J Naps, where or by Sathew on J Naps, because Sathew goes up at least, it forces J Naps to hurry his play. So th they keep possession there. So sometimes, even if you're not like gonna hit the ball, like as long as you're close enough to keep the defense honest, it's not a bad play. Again, brilliant pass by Chicago. It's the third pass that's really, really nice. He knows there's space. Rizzo just doesn't get a good piece of this ball at all. I actually want to see what happened with Rizzo on this play. Maybe he wasn't expecting it. Looks like he doesn't have a lot of boost either. So we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, he kind of just crept up on it. Actually, it's not that bad of a shot for what he had. Just, it was kind of, you know, just stopped by Safi. Another brilliant pass by Chicago. This is the fourth pass by Chicago. That is absolutely perfect out into the open field. And JNAPS just completely beans it. Like this, maybe not a goal, but should be more quality than it was. Let's see what happens. That's probably why he has no boost, but he picks up a lot there. That was actually a really good route to this ball. And I think he's worried about typical, obviously. So he's trying to throw it outside. That's probably what it's more about. Like typical has most of the options blocked. Like, I thought he might be able to elevate it from this angle, but I think it's a smarter play by Jay Neps to just not get completely destroyed on that 50-50. So I take it back, Jay Neps. I apologize. <clears throat> That's why we go to play review, you know? That's why we go. Go from auto cam to play review. AXP. Good dribble there. Just trying to force something. Oh, man, was this close. Go over to typical. See what happens. 
It's a good shot. Like, it's very tough. There's two defenders. It's a quality shot. I get he misses it, but that's a very difficult shot. So close, so close. So I don't blame him too hard for that. That's a really good hit, too. Let's put it back center. <coughs> a ton of good ball center. Now this play, I thought he was going to miss. These plays are so hard. So, like, this whole... Like, this whole, uh, I don't know, 10 seconds of play by, by Sipical is gorgeous. I love it. Let's go to Sipical. Let's go to player view from here. Like, look at this half volley to keep that play alive. Now, this play is so difficult because you have to wait for so long for this ball to come down so you have any chance at a shot. And look at that. He just stalls out, just waits out this ball. He even hits it still above the net. And gets the angle on the shot. That's an incredible play. Incredible play by Sipical there. Well done. Like, I was like, there's no way no way this is in. I'm like, because those plays are the worst where you're like, well, crap. The ball is just floating above the net. I have no angle. We are screwed here. But Sipical made it work. He made it work. And then a kickoff play. See, that's the worst, man. God, I hate Rocket League. I hate it. You do all that work, all of it, and then five seconds later, a freaking kickoff goal, you know? It's the worst. This is the worst. Oh, this is kind of a bad play by AXP, though. He's just... He just can't get dunked on by Chicago like that. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. It's the worst, man. That has to be the worst feeling. Like, AXP's like, God damn it, Simple. You just did an amazing play, and I just failed you. Completely failed you there. Safety throws it high. That's a smart play. But look at this play by Rizzo. Look at this hustle. Like, I get it. Like, there's no such thing, really, as hustle in a game where it's just about whatever you have in your machine where they can't get tired. It doesn't matter. But still, we're going to call this play hustle by Rizzo. Look at this. Like, get out of here. Actually, it didn't actually matter. I think it's just a missed shot. <laughs> To be fair, I think it's just a missed shot. Let's go over to... Who was it? Was it typical? Sadly, it's just a missed shot. <laughs> he gets the ball, and he just whiffs. That's just a complete whiff on a wide open net. That hurts. That hurts. Never mind, Rizzo. No praise for you. Like, what is hustle? I feel like hustle... Yeah, like, sure, there is hustle, but it's like... These machines don't get tired, so it's like... Like, I don't think hustle's the right word. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it didn't matter, because that was just a complete miss by Sipical. <clears throat> Good challenge there by Rizzo. Worked out for him, and the pass out to JNAPS. And that's a really bad double commit. But it was a nice soft touch, and Sathy lands on the wall. This is just good recovery. By both of them. But JNAP's good dribble around them. To set up this shot by Rizzo. And Rizzo just got like. Like I think he might have uh, done this on purpose. But I just don't know why. I think he wanted a double tap. And just kind of aim this poorly. Because like. JNAP's is going for demos. He's trying to disrupt. This is just a bad area. I'm just not sure why he, he goes for that. That's just a bad hit by uh, Rizzo. And we've had a couple of those where he flies in from pretty far and just doesn't really do anything. But, whatever. We'll get to. Nice pass out by Chicago. Ooh, lucky, lucky goal here. So this again by Rizzo. This is kind of a weak shot. But just throws it at net. Sometimes you just throw it at net and you get a little lucky. I'm not sure what else he could have done with that, honestly. Like, if he hits it where I think he should, probably the right side, it's probably saved. So, hey, it worked out for him. They got the goal. Good pass again by Chicago. That's what, five or six in this game alone that were brilliant passes by Chicago. Chicago stepping it up. <clears throat> that goal, I would say, was a little lucky for sure. Like, Rizzo didn't really have many options, to be fair. He kind of just had to throw it on net, but that's a bit lucky. But it's a really nice setup by Chicago. In my opinion, at least. Anyway, they're up by two now. G2. See what they can do. 
Rizzo trying to disrupt Sipical as much as he can. He still gets back. <clears throat> 60 seconds left on the clock. See if uh, Space Station starts uh, trying to pressure here a little bit more. Let's go rid of this view since the ball's on that side of the field. They're trying to pressure, but a lot of 50-50s. Now, of course, the ball goes this way. Okay, so Sipical keeps possession, but they know that they got to score soon. As far as XP didn't follow that one up. <clears throat> Good pass out by Sathew. And wow, I'm surprised that uh, JNAPS doesn't really do anything here. Let's see what happened. Yeah, that's just a bad read. That's a really bad read by JNAPS. He should have easily safely put that into his own corner. Turns into a scoring chance, but I don't want to say it. it. Looks like this is just a miss. Yeah, basically a miss. He's expecting JNAPS to be there, so I'm expecting him to force a 50 50. I'm not going to call that one a miss. By typical. He's expecting something completely different. <clears throat> Rizzo tries for another fake on his dribble. I'm telling you, man. That's, what we're, that, that's all he does on his dribbles. <laughs> and Chicago just wasted time here. Not much going on. They have to score here. They got to send the house. It's not going to happen. XP's got to throw this middle. He does. And said, well, tries for the deflection in. And that's it. That's the series. G2 takes it. Definitely a close series. And Space Station had opportunities, man. You just got to put some of those shots home. Um, I felt like Chicago, probably best player on the field throughout most of the series. And, and maybe that's a little biased towards Game 5. Because I felt like Game 5, he did really, really well. Uh, but... G2 pulls out the victory, and that's all that matters, right, at the end of the day. But that'll do it for this Avad review of G2 versus Space Station. G2 has a huge week, right? I think they play EG and Rogue. So they get the revenge matchup with Crow, and they get, well, I guess not revenge, but whatever, the grudge match. And they get EG, which could be, you know, we'll see how EG is looking. So it should be pretty good. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you, YouTube, for watching. Thank you guys on Twitch. That'll do it for this. And, yeah, that's a wrap on this video. Now, we're going to play... Eh, should we play? I feel like my nose is just acting up way too much. I feel like I'm going to gag soon from the phlegm. Sorry about all the nose issues. Um, let me see something real quick. I might just find a host. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I will show you. Sorry. Real quick. Uh, so this will be part of the YouTube thing as well. You guys wanted to see the stats from that series. So let's go over. Let me open up our fancy Octane site. Here's a little insight into what we get to use. This is a little bonus that you guys don't get to see. Okay. So let's go over to the series. Go to G2. We get series stats. So let's go over every once real quick. So here's a series of stats. You can kind of see. I'm sorry about the things in the way. Maybe I can just move it over like this. Eh, we'll just move it up maybe. That's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, we'll just scroll down further. I don't want to move everything because I'm about to end the stream. All right. So zoom in maybe a little bit. Zoom in again. Okay. Maybe we'll zoom out. There we go. So Chicago, six goals, five assists. 22 shots by Chicago. Mostly offensive pressure. And then a lot of saves across the board from everyone on both teams. A little bit of mixture. And then the shooting percentage we can see. typical 20 shots, only two goals. And then the rest of them didn't shoot that bad. But that's the thing. Sometimes when you miss a shot, if you miss by enough, then it doesn't count as a shot, right? So, you know, there's always that. Let's go over to the team stats. And we'll show this off. So... Space Station had seven more shots, not too many more, so pretty similar, and very similar in goal, so it's like it wasn't that far off, but a lot of shots across the board on both teams, like you should never give up 10 shots per game, that's not good for G2 at all uh, going forward, so we'll see, see if there's any advanced player stuff, I think there's just boost right now, N uh, none of the other ones work, here's a real quick glimpse at what we can see. After series, uh, the advanced stuff we can't see right after series. It's a little bit later on. So typical use the most boost, followed by all of G two, and then AXP and Sathu barely used any. Especially AXP didn't really use any. And you can see all this stuff, you know, yada yada yada. 
run that zero to twenty five. I like to see and that was a lot of typical AXB, the least, which makes sense because he didn't use a lot of boost. But uh, yeah. In hockey, a shot that hits the post doesn't count as a shot. Yeah, personally, I like that it does in Rocket League, and I like in the general vicinity those shots count. I do like that, but yeah, I don't know. I think it helps tell a tale. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching on YouTube. And